this has been so fun to use. I'm just gonna again pump it out and show you the texture. Really runny, super tacky. I'm gonna try and do, yes. This literal snail trail. Why have I loved it? Simply because my skin feels plumped and really cushiony, quite bouncy when I use it. This one is very instantaneous as well. You feel it and you see it. So layering it with any other sort of hyaluronic acid serum or you're like a nice rich day cream, it just elevates. This does work on its own as well. You will see the sort of fine lines sort of disperse. Snail mucin is incredible for moisture and retaining moisture. Anyone can use it, but I've noticed for me, because I've got drier skin, that it's worked really well. I've tried it alone with makeup, so just skipping the serum and the moisturizer, and I've still had a lovely finish. One thing I'll say is do use this before serum, and then your serum moisture afterwards. So I was really excited to try this TikTok viral skincare essence. So it's got snail meeting in it, which is like an innovative ingredient from snail enzymes. So I couldn't wait to try it on my skin to see what all the fuss was about. So I really enjoyed using it. I found that the texture perhaps was a little bit tacky. So I tended to use it in the evening and had to really like work it in, tap it in to make sure that it really absorbed. I found it super hydrating and I loved how glowy and hydrated my skin felt afterwards. Even though the texture was really tacky, I tried to steer away from using it before my makeup because I found it a little bit thick. A little bit too tacky for me, but somebody else might find it works perfectly. I think the reason is because I'm very rushed in the morning with my makeup routine. I like to do it really quickly. So I like something that absorbs in really quickly. And this takes a little bit more time with the tapping and just making sure that it's fully absorbed into the skin. So I think if you've got if you've got a nice long morning routine, then this would be great for using in the morning, but I tended to use it more in the evening. The main thing for me was just like the healthiness and the hydration. So my skin looked really plump and healthy. I got it because I was very FOMO. I wanted to see what the hype was and see whether it lived up to the hype or whether it was just a kind of trending moment. I did like it, didn't love it, but I definitely felt like it was hydrating afterwards. A little goes a long way with it you can feel quite tacky with it it says you can use it in the morning and the night i prefer to use it in the night because i just didn't really want to add the rest of my skincare and foundation stuff and then have it on all day because i'm naturally an oily person i was a bit more nervous that i was just gonna end up being really oily by the end of the day so i used it more in the night i used it more two to three times a week and just did more of like a mask kind of feel to it so i really let it sink in overnight which i did see the benefits from because I do get quite acne prone skin and it can get quite red and inflamed and a bit aggressive my spots. This did actually soothe it overnight. So I did find when I woke up in the morning that my spots and the redness around them did actually go down, which is a great quality to have, especially if you have some angry spots overnight, do a bit of a treatment on it and it does take the aggression down. So the more you obviously rub it in and do your little finger movements across your face, you do find that it does get a bit tacky with it. So it depends on how much, if you're using it more for like rollers and stuff like that, I was hesitant on using it. So I was treating it more like a serum kind of. So I was using, I thought I could use my rollers or my ice globes with it and I just couldn't because it ended up being quite tacky. So I did find it was a lot easier just rubbing it on my hands, keeping it nice and simple, don't overwork it and just let the product do its job. So I saw better results doing it that way. It does say to use a moisturizer afterwards. I chose not to just because I found that I was very hydrated afterwards, but I think it depends on your cleansing routine beforehand and naturally what your skin's like. I'm quite oil based anyway. So I did find this gave me enough hydration that I didn't need to moisturize after. I'm really excited because I thought that it looks like a slime or something similar but when you use it it's so watery I mean it's not sticky it's not tacky and I think that it added an extra hydration on my skin this month. It's so lightweight you don't feel it it doesn't have any smell. I think that it's a nice product to add it in your routine, but you don't feel like that it's heavy. It works perfect with any moisturization cream or anti-aging cream and the serum. I don't feel it heavy on my skin. It reduced the redness I got in the morning on my face, and that really helped me. 